Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get AI upscaling and FSR upscaling in any game. The program that does it is called Lossa Scaling. I'm going to start off with breaking down how exactly you use this program and what all these options are. First, I'm going to start with the scaling modes. There's Auto and Custom. There's Aspect Ratio and Full Screen. What this does right here is it lets you decide if you want it to upscale to the aspect ratio of your screen, or if you want it to be full screen. So if it's if your screen's aspect ratio is 16 by 9, but if you're upscaling a 4 by 3 resolution, it can stretch it and fill it up like that, or it can just do the aspect ratio. Auto versus custom. What auto does is you can go into the game, click options, you know, lower your resolution. See how it's lower? And then you can upscale. Or what you can do is click custom, leave your resolution at the default resolution, and then scale the game using these factors right here. So one would be native, two would be half your resolution because this is a scale factor, does it does divides. So basically if you're at 1080p and you have a scale factor of 2, 1080p divided by 2 would be 540p. If you're at 4K and you did a scale factor of 2, that would be 1080p. If you're curious of what the scale factors are for the for traditional upscaling uh, programs like FSR 1.0, FSR 2.0, DLSS, 1.33 would be ultra quality, 1.5 would be quality, 1.7 would be balance, 2 would be performance. So if you want to use those factors, you can, or you can use custom factors. So those are what these modes do, and these are the two ways you can do it. Uh, either way doesn't matter. A game may only support one way. Well, another thing I will say is if you're going to upscale, there's this option underneath it. It's only available when you have the custom selected. It's called resize before scaling. If I don't click on it and then I upscale, it just zooms in. Or sometimes there may be black bars in the top or bottom. But if you click on it, now suddenly it's uh, it, it doesn't zoom in the screen. And it's upscaling. As you can see, the resolution looks much worse. To be clear, I'm at 1080p and I'm upscaling from 540p. So the results are obviously not going to look great, you know, no matter what upscaler you're using. That looks kind of awful. But it's just so that you guys can clearly see the difference. <clears throat> so now that we got those out of the way, let's talk about scaling types and what all these do. So here are all the upscaling options. Uh, XBR is best for like pixelated games, like pixel sprites and stuff. The best for 3D games, which is the majority of you are going to be using, is AMD FSR and LS1. The rest of these options aren't really the best at anything, so there's really no reason to use them, but they're just there as options. Uh, LS1 is the AI upscaler. It uses a general uh, AI model. To be clear though, it's still a spatial upscaler since it, it's not inside the game. It can't use motion vectors and stuff. So just because it is it uses AI does not mean it's going to be as good as DLSS. However, it is better in pretty much every single way to FSR 1.0, which was already a pretty decent upscaler depending on what resolution you're using and your screen size. So you know, it is a good improvement to have. And unlike FSR 1.0, it is still being updated and supported. The developer, you know, is updating as recently as like a week ago. So if you're watching this in the future, chances are that this model has gotten even better. Uh, those, those, so those are the upscaling methods. And some of them also have sharpness sliders available. FSR is one, 0 through 10. This is 0 through 4. And then this doesn't have any. Now, before I demonstrate these uh, scaling options, let's talk about these features over here. So hide cursor. Sometimes if you're playing a game, your cursor may show on your screen when you're upscaling. It doesn't happen most of the time. But if it does, you can do that. Some of these options are self-explanatory. VRR support, if you have a variable refresh rate screen, I recommend enabling this, almost everyone does. And if you're playing a competitive game and care about latency, you can enable that. This lets you crop the screen if there's black bars for whatever reason. This is for multi-monitor support. 
Now, before I demonstrate the scaling types, I want to tell you guys how to scale. The first way you can scale is by pressing scale after you do the resolution stuff. It'll count down for five, then you click on the window you want upscaled. And after it gets there, voila, it's upscaled. The other way, and the way that I prefer, is go to settings and you see the scale hotkey. You can set it to whatever you want. I have it set to Alt plus P, it's not the default. And then all you have to do is click on the window, press Alt plus P, and it'll upscale. Or since I have custom, it actually halves the resolution and then starts upscaling it. For FSR, the best sharpness values, in my opinion, for the vast majority of games are anywhere from 6 to 9, uh, really. Uh, I'm going to test to see what, what the best uh, option is for, for this game really fast. Uh, what about 7? I think I liked 8 the best. So remember, this is a 2 times upscale from 1080p. 1080p, not a good resolution to upscale from. And this is made worse by the fact that uh, we're doing a 2 times uh, factor. So this is LS1 at a 2 times factor at 1080p, so the worst case scenario. And this is FSR. In fact, if I wanted to, you can just change the upscaling option and click on the game without unupscaling it. Now let's do a real more realistic scenario where we do uh, like an ultra quality at 1080p. Just using FSR. I think the result's pretty decent. Now using that. Yes, I would say that the result is uh it's pretty decent with that, with both of them. <clears throat> now I can just show you guys the other uh, upscaling options if you would like. This is uh NVIDIA image scaling. Now this actually gets much sharper than the rest because NVIDIA is at a very aggressive sharpener. So uh, they, they don't translate evenly. So just because they, they share 0 through 10 does not mean that they're the same, right? Like you would have to lower this by quite a bit to get the same sharpness as FSR 1.0. And then there, here's integer. My cursor's on screen with the uh, integer. There's nearest neighbor. Oh, it's actually doing a one point, a one scale. So it's not even upscaling. Oh yeah, so, so sometimes you have to change the settings when you're using a uh, a certain thing. Either way, uh, for, an, for NVIDIA image scaling, it's kind of built into your, uh, to NVIDIA's software. They also have a custom scale resolution of 0 0.85 instead of 0 0.77, which 0 0.77 would be this, which is ultra quality. So apparently they uh, they are recognizing that for 1080p lower resolutions and spatial upscaling, you may want a higher value, which is why I said that you can use custom values like, uh, you know, 1.2, for example. And the, the boost FPS won't be as good, but it'll be pretty decent. Now I'm gonna unfreeze myself and I'm gonna leave it at ultra quality. Just so I can, you know, move around. Just, you know, see how things do when in, uh, in motion. The performance uplift and the quality of the upscaler will vary from title to title. I just increase the sharpness to one. So yeah, I would like to talk more about this uh, AI upscaler. So again, although it does use AI, it's mostly like FSR 1.0, but with a general AI model, because it's still spatial. It still only has frame by frame data. It doesn't use prior frames information because it does not have temporal data or motion vectors. So this isn't clickbait, but it, but it's it's real. It's just uh, not going to be as good as DLSS, but uh, it's still pretty good. It may look awful in the video. I actually think it looks decent, but it may look awful in the video for the simple fact that I'm at 10, 1080p. But 
uh, it is a uh, it is pretty good. So if you're struggling to get uh, FPS in a certain game, you need to lower the resolution and the internal uh, resolution upscaler isn't great and they don't support these other options in the game natively, then this program would be great for you. So, you know, I would, I would recommend it in that case. But thank you for watching the video. I think I covered uh, everything that's important in this. Uh, peace out.